Keen won both of those fights. One with a rear, excuse me, a triangle choke, one with punches. But let's get started here. Both men throwing quickly as Kalix with a big right kick. Now a left kick here as we'll settle in for the first round. They're both so fast. Yeah, they're moving fast, and Almir's doing a good job of keeping the distance. Good leg kick here, back and forth from Logan Taylor, but a big shot in return. Taylor looking to do something as they almost go head to head there, but the shorter Taylor will put Talik into the corner and he'll start to try to get some shots in there. Talik though with his position back against the cage is actually able to push out of there and get some shots. What a left kick. Oh boy, when you said the big boys were coming up, you weren't kidding. These guys are throwing. Talik trying to measure his distance there as Taylor with a wild throw. Logan Taylor out of Utah here tonight. Oh, what a shot there as Talik goes down. Looking to finish him here. Big hammer fist from the sky. Drives him into the cage though as Talik will look to recover here. Maybe try to recoil. And Talik was caught there right in the nose. Blood starting to run out there. We'll see how that impacts his breathing. Yeah, there's been some good back and forth with these guys. They're pretty evenly matched. Oh, oh. oh what a right Great. kick there. Wonderful action as Taylor will take him down, trying to get some shots. Immediately stands right back up. Really gave Talik some room there, actually. I and think he knows that Almir. Yeah, he doesn't want to be on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Minute 20 remaining here in our first round. Again, three rounds here in this amateur bout. And when you talk about the, the height difference, 5'9 for Logan Taylor, 6'3 for Almir Talik. Yeah, Logan's doing a pretty good job of getting inside that reach, but Amir is starting to dial it in a little bit. Heavy breathing from both men here as we're one minute away from the end of the first round. Nice kick there from Talik as he'll go high, then go low. Oh, Taylor, though, Taylor doesn't, answers back. No backing down. Yeah. Wow, that was good wrestling. Good wrestling. by the book for the much smaller Taylor now as he's looking to get some back control. I think this is where we're going to start seeing the grappling exchanges. They're both very good grapplers. Yeah, both guys are really good. Watching and that. it's obvious pretty quickly they are solid on the ground. First real test on the ground here tonight between these two men. 18 seconds remaining in our opening contest here in the opening round, I should say, in this bout. Talik trying to connect with anything as he's put Nice stack oh. on his oh. neck. Does he have He's got an arm bar. Is he going to run out of time? He's running out of time. He's slipping out. What and that was a near miss, man. That was good. That was good. Narrow escape. My goodness. How about the action, though, of that first round? Action packed back and forth. Wow. That was something, man. These guys that came out crazy. and they went for it. Very you impressive. You can definitely tell why they both are undefeated. Yeah. Definitely, right? Yes. And I want to go back to the shot that Talik took to his face. I'm curious, when you're taking a shot to the nose, regardless of the blood, the breathing, when you take a shot like that, is it more difficult? Absolutely. You know, you and you feel like you need to blow your nose a lot, too, and that's always a bad idea. So it's just one of those, it's annoying, it's irritating, you're thinking about it. Um, so we'll see how he, how he deals with that. And are fighters taught to really like breathe out of their nose or out of their mouth or kind of uh, both? Well, it's going to be based on where I'm at in the fight. You know, it, it, when, there, when there's an opportunity for me to offload some of that gas, I'll breathe through my mouth. But for the most part, I want to be breathing through my nose. Also, especially when we're striking, I want to breathe through my nose. <laughs> Taylor took the chair for his corner because he <laughs> forgot it. <laughs> yeah, that's just good manners that there. Right? So good job, Logan. Let me help you guys out. Okay, well, we're ready to start the second round of this fight. The first round was absolutely electric there as we had uh, some real dicey situations, though, towards the end of the round. Could have seen a submission attempt, but we continue here. Fresh start here in the second round. Taylor in the blue corner, Talik in the red. Hard to say who really controlled that first round is Talik with a big front kick. Taylor looking to get a takedown. Looks like he wants to get back on the ground. Tried to deliver a big right, but... Taylor's doing a really good job of dealing with Almir's range. Yeah, for sure. Uh, for Almir being such a lengthy fighter, sometimes it can be really frustrating to get in on those kind of people. Um, oh, my. Great kick. What a kick. Taylor, like, he didn't even feel it. Yeah. He's just 
He's right tough, there. man. Concrete jaw there for Taylor. He didn't even blink as he continues to march forward, keeping his hands up. Looks like he's got some good energy there as he's trying to duck below those extended left hands there from Talik. Talik, though, backing him into the corner. As you can see, the red coming down his mustache from the shot he took in the first round. Low shot now from Talik. As the two will exchange, he'll push Taylor back into the corner here. Yeah, Almir's doing a good job of taking the center of the cage and owning that center, but Logan's doing a really good job of what we would call the shorter guy's game, which is that overhand right, slipping underneath and getting to the body, getting inside, and then making it count. As you can hear the crowd get loud as they see that impressive reach of Almir Talik. Oh, and a kick from Taylor. Oh, a Superman punch there. Left hand caught him, right hand caught him. Taylor now in some business there with a nice combination. Talik though, trying to walk forward, walked almost right into a left hand. Both fighters, you can tell, losing a little bit of energy with 1-10 remaining here in our second round. It's a high-paced fight. Yeah. Great takedown right in the center of the octagon. As we mentioned though, Taylor's got to be careful here because Talik from this position yes. can be very dangerous. Absolutely. He needs to establish, establish his position, especially with Almir's long legs getting through. Establish that position. Really make sure he's got Almir settled. 40 seconds to work with here in the second round as Talik trying to get back up to his knees, find a more beneficial position to get out of as both men will get back up to their feet. So Talik. Does get taken down, pops right back up. Oh, and a great takedown there by Logan Taylor. Yeah, so he has a guillotine takedown. He let the guillotine go, but that was a good, yeah, that was a threat. His timing is really good. With the guillotine takedown, I guess the idea is to hold that as you can see him go again around the back. Yeah, he's going to hang on to that and try to finish. Use that momentum to roll in, tighten it up, finish it. Almir's doing a great job holding that arm. Yes. And making sure he can't get those grips for the guillotine. Yeah, this, both of these guys are showing a lot of talent and a lot of heart. You know, I thought for sure Logan was rocked when he yeah. got kicked in the head, and he kind of took a little sidestep yeah. as if he was, and then snapped right out of it. I'm very impressed by these guys. Yes. What a great first two rounds, an unbelievable six minutes of fighting, great back and forth. A little more mat-based, though, there in the second round. Yeah, Love for to sure. see it. Well, thanks for joining us here for Front Street Fights 28. Let's take a look, actually, at this big kick. Watch this. Yeah. So you can see he kind of rocked him a little bit, but he just powers through it, man. And then the entry right here. What a beautiful takedown. Mm -hmm. You know, both guys are just so collected, so calm, even though through each transition from range to range, they're like, okay, man, here we are. Let's fight. Does this feel like a professional fight? It does. Yes. 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 You know, we talked about how that 5-0, and oh, that yeah. five-fight mark, and Almir's getting there, and Taylor's definitely showing that he is no slouch. Yeah. Okay, well, something has to give here in round three. Talit comes in 4-0, oh, Logan Taylor 2-0. and oh. Neither of these men have tasted defeat inside the cage. Someone will in the next few minutes. But we are underway here in the third round. What a shot from Taylor. He's looking for some big money moves here to kick off the third round. Yeah, it looks like Taylor's starting to find his range as well. You know, when we started, Amir definitely had the range, but it seems like Taylor's definitely figured it out. He's gotten a lot more comfortable finding that pocket, finding that range. Talik, though, still with that long reach, trying to keep him away, trying to keep him measured. You can see, though, the hands coming down as they're tired here in the third round. Some big kicks, a left, then a right, though, from Talik. Almer just picking and poking. Looking for a takedown here. Taylor had one leg momentarily. Talik, though, nice job to push off. Big left hand. Now a right. Talik, he got hit hard there on the left. These exchanges are great. Yeah. Both Oh, yeah, they are landing good hard shots and staying in that pocket and working. A great left there from Taylor, but an immediate response there from Talik. Both men taking shots with a minute 57 remaining in our final round. Yeah, and again, you don't see guys, the guy, either one of them panicking if the fight goes away from where they're trying to keep it. They're both staying really calm and just working. Both fighters still marching right into it. 
Oh, what a shot to the body oh, there. He feels that him, one. This oh, is boy. it. This could be it. Oh, he smart move by Taylor. Yeah. Good smart. He knew that leg was coming again. He had to do everything he could to catch it before it caught him. And you'll see the right side of Taylor start to really swell up. He took quite a shot. I don't know if it hit him in the rib, maybe the side. You can also see the his uh, left leg, his left calf there is swelling up a little bit. Great takedown, though. He is really having so much success with these takedowns. Yeah. I think he's three for three, maybe three for four. I mean, yeah, yeah. These guys are fighters, man. Yeah. They are bringing it. Remember these names. These will be guys that you'll be able to say, I saw them on Front Street Fights. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit frustrating. This is where it's going to be a little frustrating for Taylor, though, because Almir is so long. Passing this guard, this half guard, it's gonna be hard. is going to be a little bit frustrating. Especially out there in the center. Mm -hmm. As the crowd starting to get into it now, Logan trying to do anything he can to maybe get some fists from the air. And now he's got some back position here. What can he do with it? Does he have it hooked under? I can't quite see where that elbow is. It looks like Talik, though, does have a little bit of room. Yeah. Oh, arm triangle. Fully mounted on top here as Talik trying to do anything he can to escape. He does have the airways as he'll get some right shots into the side as a little bit of a rest hold here with 10 seconds about remaining here in the final round. This will likely be the final frame we see of these two as they remain wow. down though. Yeah, ditch the submission yeah, and go for the strikes. The yeah. That was so good. That was an excellent fight. That definitely looked like a pro fight. Their yes. ability to transition, oh stay calm, fight in all the ranges. That was a fantastic fight. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Take, take damage and keep working. Oh my yeah. gosh. You know? I think it really shows the grit. This fight really showed their grit. And I think that's also another reason why you can tell these guys are possibly ready to go pro. Yeah, you know? definitely ready to go. Logan Taylor, only 20 years old. He's got a, a long way to go. I mean, he's got a lot of left to the tank. So does Talik at only 24 years old. I mean, these guys yeah. are young studs. If you take sure. a look at some of the highlights here, uh, great exchanges as both of you mentioned. Yeah, definitely good exchanges. Both guys seem to find their range towards the end there. About yes. midway through the second round, both guys seem to be landing consistently. Yes. Like they figured it out. And uh, off camera, I know we're showing the highlights, but both fighters met in the middle of the ring. They laughed. They shared a, a half hug there. I mean, I love the respect in MMA. I love it. The brotherhood, the sisterhood. I love it. <laughs> you can't help but to respect, you know, yeah. the oh, people that gosh. get in there. And where are you going to find anybody else in your life that's going to push you this hard? Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, this is how you figure out what you're made of. And everybody craves Absolutely. that test. They just don't know it, you well, know? Yeah. Logan Taylor taking that kick to the side. I mean, that could have been it. Yeah, he definitely felt it. He did. You saw, he you did saw get that. Wrong. Uh, look at that redness. Ooh. I think the air rushed out of his body there. As Logan the Lion, though, he survived there. But we'll see. This is going to come down to uh, our first decision of the night. Almir, his nose bleeding. Yeah. Just uh, as a reminder for the amateur bouts, the way that this is scored, effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. And it's funny because these guys all have finishes. They're mostly finish or uh, submission finishers. Yeah. But we, I feel like we just saw a striking exchange. Like a lot of striking. Yes, yeah, a, lot a lot of, of that, yeah. They really showed that they. A lot of stand up, a lot of good, even good striking in the clinch. Yes. You know? They showed that they can hit and take a hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's taken a while for the judges to score this one because this is a tough one. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking in my head, and I'm, I'm trying not to be biased because I'm here trains at my gym, home gym, course. you know, and trying not to be biased, but man, this is a tough one. It Both is. Both of these guys had good exchanges. Almir rocked them, mm -hmm. uh, rocked Logan. But then Logan came back and was on top, and oh you know, the takedowns were. I'm curious great. if that's the difference. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wonder too. I think it's always um, that's always the controversy, right? Like, what are how much are takedowns worth? And uh, you know, 
sometimes you can get a bunch of takedowns and lose the fight. Sometimes you can get a bunch of takedowns and win the fight. You know, like it's definitely the controversy yeah, in MMA. For sure, I feel yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's like how mu what what are we scoring these takedowns? Yeah. Okay, well I can tell you the scorecards are in. Let's send it into the octagon with Jim Strong. After three rounds, we'll move to the judges' scorecards. This fight has been scored 29-28, 30-27, and 29-28, all for the blue corner. Your winner, fighting out of the blue corner by unanimous decision, Logan the Lion Taylor. Fans, let's hear it one more time. These guys win a great combat. This was a great fight. Let's hear it. That was a fantastic fight. So, such a great fight. Uh, <laughs> going three rounds. That first one went out to the first. Do you guys know that this, these guys have not even gone out of the first round until tonight? So, that was quite a battle tonight. Oh, yeah. Man, I, it was such a hard fight, man. I, much respect to Amir Talik, and I want to say one thing. Thank you to Jesus T-shirts for supporting me and making me these sick shirts. It's got the lions on them. Look, Logan the lion. Look at this guy's Jesus T-shirts. Anyways, thank you to all my friends and family in the crowd over here and anywhere else. Everyone watching me, Mucci Bear, I love you. Everyone watching from home, or my family in New York. Everyone, thank you so much to my corner, my family, my dad. My mom, who's watching in the crowd as well, I love you, mom. Coach Dane and Amy for coming out to visit here all the way from Utah. I love you all, and thank you so much, guys. Fans, let's hear it for Logan the Lion Taylor. Uh, that's a 20-year-old on top of the world. He will improve to 3-0 and in his amateur MMA career. Remember the name Logan Taylor. Okay, 